Amazing! I'm really proud of you guys. Welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and welcome back to our Airbnb renovation. We are here for part two of the bedroom makeover. It is gonna be a completely different room when I am finished with it. If you missed last week's video, it's really important that you see that because we went ahead and started the accent wall. So this week we'll be finishing the accent wall as well as a majority of the rest of the room. So just a little recap, if you did miss the video, the link will be down below. But what I basically did is I took a level and a pencil and a just basically designed the wall. I went ahead and drew the exact design up on the wall. And then I went to Home Depot and grabbed some one by threes that I then cut to size and we went ahead and brad nailed them onto the wall so that now it looks like this. We also went ahead and filled the nail holes and caulked all of the seams so that we'll have a really seamless look. So my next step is to take my sander and go ahead and sand back all of that spackling that I filled, uh, that we filled the holes with so that then it's a smooth look and it'll basically be ready to paint. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I am gonna be using my Surf Prep sander. You guys, as much as I use this for my furniture when I do furniture flipping, I also have been using it a ton for all of these DIY projects. And I really love that it's hooked up to this hose and then the vacuum dust extractor that Surf Prep gifted me because I don't have any dust all over the place since this is doing a really great job at sucking it up. So all that will be linked down below in the description. I'm gonna get to sanding because this is gonna be a little bit of a tedious job and I wanted to get over with. <laughs> All right, got the sanding done. Again, that surf prep comes in handy every single time I sand. Uh, so that was about a 10 minute job. I just wanted to make sure to grab all of the nail holes that we filled and surprisingly, Nima didn't miss any. So props to him. Not surprising. I only say that because like usually you're bound to miss one, but we filled them all. So. On to the next step, which is cleaning all of the boards because although the sander and dust extractor sucks out the dust, there's still gonna be some uh, leftover remnants and we really want that paint to adhere. So now it's time for the fun part. I get to tape off the wall because this wall only is going to be my accent color that I've been using throughout the Airbnb and I think in hindsight, I probably would have put a trim board actually like around the edges of like the wall and the ceiling here, but I didn't do that. And I really don't want to make all of these angled cuts to, you know, put those in there. But if you're doing it, I would suggest maybe putting a trim board around the whole thing, just so that it's a little bit easier when you're like taping things off and stuff, because I'm assuming that these corners are gonna be a little bit difficult to actually like tape off correctly. And so it's just gonna be a little bit of a tedious job, um, but I'm gonna take some of my regular painter's tape. And then I've also got this stuff that has the plastic on the edges so that I can also tape off some of the ceiling because I'll be spraying this. So I don't wanna get any of the blue paint on the ceiling because that would be a bad thing. I'm not gonna be painting the ceiling this time um, because it's actually in really good condition and it's basically already white. So no reason to do that again. Now that the room is completely taped off with my plastic and tape, I am ready to paint. And a lot of you guys have probably guessed it. We're going with the teal that is both in the kitchen and in the sunroom. So let's open this guy up and load it in our sprayer. So remember, this is the custom paint that I created with Beyond Paint. And then what I did is I went to Home Depot with a dried color swatch 
of that color I created and then I had them make that color with regular wall paint. So that way I could have as close as possible, it's probably not exact, but this is as close as I could possibly get to the same color as the kitchen cabinets. So this is what the, I've done it in the kitchen, I've done it in the sunroom, I've done it in the stairwell. Now we're going here in the bedroom. So this is like the fourth place with this color of paint. So we need to get it mixed up really well. And then I'm using my Wagner Flexio 3500 slash 590. They're pretty much the same sprayer. I'll link the 590 down below. You can get that off Amazon. And all we're gonna do is pour it into the cup here, I'm using the eye spray nozzle, which is the bigger nozzle that it comes with. Um, and then it comes with the finish nozzle as well. But since I'm doing a bigger space, like a big wall, I'm gonna do this one so that I can have more paint in here. And the other uh, finish detail nozzle is more for things like furniture or smaller things that you may be painting. Let's do it. All right, time. Plug this baby in and get this wall painted, at least for the first coat. So this sprayer has a pretty short cord, so I've always gotta have this longer extension cord. It's kind of a pain, but at the same time, it's not that bad. So, got it plugged in. Of course, I've got my glasses here, and then I've got my respirator as well, because since this is a smaller room, um, it'll typically start kind of fogging up with paint. I've also got the windows open to get a little bit more airflow as well. Here we go. Ta-da! At least the first coat may or may not be a Smurf right now, but that's okay. Um, some of the plastic was coming up, so I like held it down while I sprayed across the bottom there. Just the wind from the sprayer was like, making the plastic go blow a little bit. But you guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When I got like this section done, I was like, I can't. I absolutely love this. I wanna put this type of wall in every single room, in every single house that I have ever in because this is epic. Can't wait to get the second coat on, but we gotta let this dry, of course. So in the meantime, you know me, I'll be doing some other things, replacing some outlets, probably cleaning off of, cleaning off the walls so that I can also paint white. So stay tuned. So right in here, you saw I just went ahead and took off these shelves and I don't know what I'm gonna do back here just yet, but my thoughts are first and foremost to go ahead and take all of the shelving units down. They're like um, built in almost. But what my initial thought was for this area was to almost make it a desk area. So I know the doors right here, but I think if I got like a small enough chair, it just made the desk come out to about here, there would still be enough room for a chair to be put here, or we could put a chair in, the, in another spot um, in the room. And then if they wanted to utilize this desk, they could, but I thought it would be really cool to put like a platform desk right here, maybe use one of these shelves, but then of course reinforce it a little bit better. And that way the space can be utilized better than just having shelving because in an Airbnb, I don't know for sure if like a shelving unit is gonna be that usable. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments right now. Second coat going on. I filled up my spray gun again, so we should have plenty of paint to get the job done. Let's do it. Two coats done. It looks amazing. I'm really proud of you guys. There's still a lot to go in this room, but I'm so proud that this is done. I even got started taping off the other walls. So now that's gonna dry. We'll clean out the sprayer and probably spray the walls Greek Villa another day. So that way this has plenty of time to dry. I think I am gonna go ahead and grab the plastic off of it because it's best to do that when the paint is still wet. Look at that crisp line. And then there's that. I must have thought I taped it off correctly, but 
Clearly I missed a couple spots, that's all right. We're gonna be painting this area with the Greek villa color, so no big deal there. We'll just paint over that. And I also got some paint on the floor, but again, no worries. We're gonna be um, refinishing the floors. That's another reason why I kind of wanted to paint first. Um, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this plastic off and I'll show you guys the wall. Now that the wall's dry, it looks even better. And although I wanna just sit here and stare at this wall all day long, we gotta keep on moving to get this project finished. So next up, I'm gonna continue taping off all of these areas where I don't want the white paint now so that then we can go ahead and spray all of the white. Parts of prepping are happening right now, getting all the outlets taped off so that we don't get paint in them. You guys, prep, Ugh. we have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> it's so necessary, it's so time-consuming, but like I said, it's necessary because I don't want paint all over the floors or the trim or anything like that. So we've got everything taped off and plastic wrapped off and yeah so we were gonna actually paint today but i think just because again prep takes takes prep takes longer than anything and it always takes longer than i intend it to so we will be painting the walls greek villa tomorrow so this room has like a weird closet thing that we think was probably built on after like the original house was built and so for some reason they decided not to go all the way up to the ceiling with it so there's this weird ledge and we can't not paint way up there because it's going to be pink while everything else is basically white so that means that i get to go up there see how much dust there is up there see what's up there clean it off and then paint that wall back there um, to match the rest of the room when I paint it. Oh gosh, I think I should get a vacuum. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. do not recommend doing that or having to do that. Whew. All right, now I gotta tape off this area-ish so that I don't get any spray on the ceiling. The sprayer is getting really good use out of it for sure. If you are interested, I'll link this down below, but it is a real time saver. If you've got a lot of rooms to paint, or even just one, literally it takes probably less than half the time it would to like roll it or brush on the paint.
white. Greek Villa, check. You're done. So we're gonna let this dry now, and then we'll come back for coat number two. Coat number two is going on. I got my gun loaded up again, so we're just gonna do another coat. Second coat, done. It's looking great. Now it's time to take all the plastic off and we'll have a finished painted room. taking the tape off of this wall, a little bit of the paint stuck to the tape. We didn't have that issue anywhere else. I'm not really sure what exactly happened, but I'm just gonna take my brush and the blue paint and just cut in a little bit. No big deal when that happens, just a little bit of a pain in the booty. I know exactly what happened. Wait, let me, let me just tell them what happened. No. Laura comes over there. No, 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 oh, we no. Need to get Stuff done. Nope, nope, Harrison, nope, 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 spray, the blue spray got onto the wall. Um, uh, this wall, that went ahead and got covered with the spray um, when I did the Greek Villa, no problem. All right, and just like that, we're calling this video done. Of course, the room isn't quite done, but we're gonna have a part three for you guys. We've still gotta do some cleaning up of the trim areas. And over there, I really think that I decided that I am going to do a little desk nook. So that'll be in a video coming up. So if you're not already, please be sure to get subscribed down below. We'd love to have you guys a part of our FFT community. And each and every week, we just continue on this Airbnb renovation journey and I can't believe how far this room has come already with honestly just some decor wall and some paint. So stay tuned for next week and we'll see you on the flip side. We're not doing the floors anymore.